Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about my personal story. Thank you. Who here thinks they're different? Raise up your hands. Okay, thank you. I'm here to tell you that I think I am different too. In fact, I'm not only different, I am also special. When I was younger, the doctors found me from most of the other children in my age. I was told that I have a special mind. Some found me creative. Others found me strange. But they all thought I was different. The thing that set me apart is my special way to relate to people. And I see the world very differently. First of all, let me tell you about my family story, which itself is rather different and unique. Soon after I was born, I, I was adopted on lo along with my twin brother, Jordan, by a very ni nice couple. They are the very reason why I am standing here today. They taught me that even if I might be different, I am no less than others. And that it is per perfectly fine to be different. My difference was not a challenge at all, but instead it is my unique gift. And I should use to help others to understand about how people who are different. M when I was two years old, my parents started to realize that I might be different. As compared to my twin brother, who already expressed his needs in full sentences, I could barely utter a single word. S since I had difficulty chewing and swallowing food, I was slow in my muscular development as well. Since I had difficulty chewing and swallowing food, swallowing food, I was a real slow eater. I also hated phys physical activities because I found it hard to coordinate my limbs. So, so unlike other kids who who enjoy playing their friends at the playground, I would scream and shout the minute I arrived there as the sound, sight, and movements of the other children terrified me. My way of exploring the known was, als was also very different. Instead of using my eyes and ears to learn, I like to touch things. Sometimes I would even put them in my mouth in order to feel, to feel them and remember to learn. My turning point was when I started a very special program called the ABA at two and a half. I was taught very clever, but simple methods to use to communicate with people. Very soon, I was able to use my simple words and my needs to express my emotions. I felt less angry and alone. Suddenly, all the things around me started to make sense. At home, my mom teaches me reading and spelling. Since she is an English teacher, whereas my dad helped me with my reasoning and logic as he is good at maths. My mom is kind and loving who always keeps, keeps me feel very safe. 
My dad, on the other hand, is strict and determined. He always gives my best to challenge me. With the love and support from home, I was provided with, with a strong and solid base to grow and learn. What about my brother, Jordan? I enjoyed grow growing up with Jordan because he's not only my brother, he's also my teacher. He helps me to overcome all my challenges. In 2014, my first football experience was in Taiwan. And I participated for the under 11 football team with Jordan. Jordan helped me to practice my football skills. Before that, I was not good at my foot coordination. Jordan helped me to practice my football skills and coordination every day. The best part was when I scored a goal, I felt more happy and confident around other children my age. Now let me tell you how I did at school. When I was at kindergarten, I met a very good friend who had the same condition as I did, who was also seen as different. And I started to realize that there, there are other people who had the same condition as I do. However, at seven years old, I had to leave my old school. And my teachers and friends to, to attend year three at Kowloon Junior School. And suddenly, everything I was familiar with was all gone and I felt a lot of expressive emotions and I was familiar with was all my expressive emotions I felt very upset angry and even scared because no one understood me. I soon realized that I could not let the external factors and detect my emotions. Instead, I turned all my attention to my studies. And I started secondary education at Charlton College with the learning support in most subjects. Now, I'm glad to tell you that I am doing mainstream in most of my subjects. The excitement of overcoming challenge, challenging situations, achieving a goal, and seeing your ambitions, and is amazing. Over the recent years, I have developed a keen passion in arts, science, and maths, and I hope to use my skills and talents to my differences to make 
a positive difference to the school, society, and to the world. I have come to accept and be proud of my differences. I'm here to tell you that no matter what your challenges are, or no matter how different you may be, or no matter who, who comes in your way, you can also still make a difference. The key lies in your attitude. If you are determined, disciplined, and diligent enough, you will be able to overcome all your all of the hurdles. At same as how my parents and teachers made a difference to my life. A famous person said, be the change you want to see in the world. I'm here to tell you, don't just be the change, but be the difference. And now, I'm all ready for my next chapter. Thank you.